Hello everyone, welcome to my session. This is Rajesh Ravindi. Now, in this session, we are going to complete the chapter Comparing Quantities Using Proportion. In this exercise 1, in already we learned previous session about percentages. Okay, so how to find the ratio and how to find the compound ratio. So you can able to watch the previous video so that you understand the uh, compound ratio and the ratio. So now here in the exercise 1, we have some important problems. Let us concentrate on them and how to solve them in a simple way. So let us see now here if 9 out of 24 students. So 9 out of 24 students means nothing but total students are 24 in that 9 scored below 75% marks in a test means there is a test and in that 75% less than so less than 75% so how many students they got 9 students less than 75% and the remaining students got the more than or above 75% marks so that in this now what is asking find the ratio of the students find the ratio of the students who scored below 75% to the who scored above the 75% marks so here first let us know who, how many students got less than 75% and how many students got more than 75% ok so here total number of students so we know very well total number of students has given that 24 and uh, how many students got below 75% marks so students below 75% marks so how many are there 9 so these two data has given but we have to find above 75% marks so 75% marks above so how to find so very easy let me subtract from the total to those who got the less than 75% so that now students above 75% marks so how many students they got 75% let me subtract from the total minus who got the below 75 so that 9 so that is equal to 15 so now we got above 75% and below 75% and the total number of students so total number of students are 24 below 75% 9 members and above 75% 15 members so now what is asking the ratio now we can go to the ratio of that ratio to the student scored below 75% to so above 75% so that now ratio ok so what is asking below 75% marks so number of students number of students below 75% to means nothing but by above 75% so number of students above 75% marks so how many of they are below 75% very clear it is 9 and above students 15 so we can able to simplify here 9 and 15 both are multiples of 3 so that we can do 3 3 is a 9 and 3 5 is a 15 so both of them are prime numbers so that we cannot simplify more than that so 3 by 5 so that is equal to 3 is to 5 so this is what the ratio to the students who got below 75% marks to the who got above 75% marks so this is what the answer Another problem here find the ratio of vowels in the word Mississippi to the number of consonants. So in English we know very well vowels. What are the vowels? A, E, I, O, U. So in this what are the vowels? So let us observe vowels are here 1, 2, 3, 4. So I only one so that it has repeated 4 times. So number of letters or number of vowels. So how many times are there number of vowels here? number of vowels is equal to 4 and let us count the remaining or what consonants so how many consonants are there so number of consonants here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so there are 7 now what is asking ratio to the vowels to consonant so that now ratio 
so ratio what to what here vowels to consonant so that number of vowels to the number of consonants so number of vowels to the number of consonants so how many are here vowels there are four and how many consonant seven so that four is to seven so what is the ratio of vowels to the consonants four is to seven here in this problem first let us observe what are the vowels only i how many times it is so four times so it has four and the remaining are what consonants so how many times how many are there seven so what is the ratio four by seven so it can be written as four is to seven so this is what the ratio between vowels to consonants another one more example which is very important in example first see here a farmer obtained a yielding of 1720 bags so how many bags 1720 bags of cotton in on the last year this year is expecting his crop to be 20% more so whatever he got the previous year around 1720 bags of the last year and now he is expecting 20% more than the last year so what is the 20% so how many bags is going to be expect of this year so first of all in this so let us find number of bags in the last year so solution so number of bags of cotton in last year so number how many bags are there around 1720 so he gave he got that 1720 bags he yielding in the last year so in the last year he obtained how many bags 1720 bags so now in this year how much percentage is expecting so percentage to be increase so what is the percentage here 20 percentage so is expecting more so first what to do here 20% means how much we have to find in this 20% value is what so what is the value of 20% so already we got we know that the formula so 20% of 1720 so we know very well 20 into Of of means into so in that what seventeen twenty by hundred so we are very simple to be simplified one zero and zero and zero and zero so what is here two into one seventy two so that two two is a four two seven is a forty and two one is a two so that three so how many bags twenty twenty percent means three forty four bags so now this year what he is expecting. Compared to the last year, twenty percent more. So this year, or else expecting bags of cotton in this year. So what are the last year bags? Seventeen twenty plus how much percentage increase here? Twenty percent. So what is the value of twenty percent? Three forty four. So let you add here three forty four. So you can add seventeen twenty and three forty four. So that seventeen twenty three forty four. You can add zero plus four is four. Two plus four is six. Seven plus three is ten. So one carry. So one plus one is two. So total how many bags? Two thousand sixty four bags is going to expect in this year. So this is what the important problem. which is very important in the exam and thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends